Hello, welcome to Selco TV. This is Rachel Gray, Information Services Librarian at Selco, and today I'm going to be talking about Enterprise's My Account and My List. We will be launching Enterprise, which is our new online catalog, on April 1, 2014. So we're doing a series of training videos to show you a little bit more about this catalog. Uh, to get connected to My Account, I can either click on Login or My Account. And I'm going to go ahead and go into My Account here. Just typing in my little library barcode and PIN. And you can see at the top of the screen that it also has my name up here. Um, I would have also logged in and been able to go into my account by clicking on the login button that was up here. Um, but I use that more when I'm just logging in when I'm expecting to be making a lot of requests. So I don't have to keep going back in and out. The default here, as you can see, is for personal information and patrons can verify their address and a lot of other things from these screens. So the first one here is my address, although I do need to contact the local library if I need to change that or update that in the system. I can also change my PIN number here. This is the same as we had in Aqua Browser. And it does update in Horizon as well, so if a patron does change that and we they come back into the library and ask if we know what it is, we can look it up in their uh, borrower profile. And then there's a nice variety of preferences which I find really helpful. The default language can either be English or Spanish. I'm going to keep English because that's my native language. I can also choose which of these tabs automatically opens when I come into my account. And I can do that right here. So it can either be the personal information, checkouts, requests, or fines. And I can also set my preferred list here, and I'll be going into the lists in just a little while. From this screen, there's also the option to get information into Horizon in the borrower profile for SMS notification, and they can do that here. We can also see what items are checked out to our accounts by going to the checkouts window. This is very similar to what Aqua Browser had. And you can see right now I've got a movie out, some kind of wonderful, and I can see when it is due. If I want to renew that, I can do that from here as well, just by clicking on the box or clicking on the select all, since I only have the one item, and hitting renew. I can also see what items I have in my requests that I've requested and what their status is. And if I need to, I can either cancel a request from here or suspend requests. Um, this has been a thing we've been able to do in Aqua Browser. And then I can also see what my fines are um, in the My Account. You may have noticed over here we have the checkouts, the requests, and the fines. Um, so it's really nice to get an overview without even having to go into the tabs. And for the fines we can click on the Pay Now button and this will take me to my enterprise login and I'm able to log in um, and pay my bill if I so choose. So that is my account in a nutshell. It is very straightforward and very easy to use. I'm going to go ahead and do a couple of quick searches here uh, to get some stuff set up for the my lists. And I'm just doing a search for paper crafts, and I'm just going to select a couple of these book um, books for my list that I'm going to be creating here for this demonstration. And you can see I've just checked the boxes next to the book, right underneath their number. I can go up to the top of the page or all the way down to the bottom select an action, and add to my lists. I do have a Jane Austen list already created, but I am going to be creating a new list here for this, so I'm going to keep it on my temporary list, and click Add. And it tells me that these items were su successfully added. And the other way you can add an item to the list is just by going into the item record, 
and again select an action and add to my list. So now I've got four items on my temporary list and uh, lists are helpful for patrons um, if they're reading a lot of books and they want to keep track of what they've read or maybe they have a list of items that have been recommended to them. Um, they could put them in these lists and uh, then they can kind of check them off as they go. So really helpful to have. And I'm going to go ahead and click on my lists. And here we can see the four books that I've selected. I want to select all of them. So I'm just going to go ahead and click this button. And I'm going to go over here to my lists and go to add lists. And that's just this little plus sign. And I'm going to make a list called Paper Crafts. Click on this box here to select all of these guys. And I'm going to move this to the Paper Crafts list. And poof! You can see the temporary list is now empty. And that my Paper Crafts list has the four books that I was looking at earlier. And that's all I have um, to talk to you about with lists and my account. If you have any questions, please contact us at the help desk. We're more than happy to answer those. And thanks again for watching. Have a great day.